channel this is Laura I'm coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul quite a few items a few great new items that I find I'm still on the lookout for some fall stuff to show you to share with you but my stores are just not getting it in it's just trickling in a little bit at a time but I'm on the lookout if you are new here welcome I really would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on that notification bell, and you will not miss out on an episode. If you are a regular here, thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me. I appreciate you. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, the first thing that I found are these little baskets. They're not new to the Dollar Tree. They are in black, and I'm gonna use these for one of my little cabinets by my coffee station to put my coffee pods in, my packet sugars and stuff like that so that it looks nice and organized. So I picked up three of these. And I know a lot of people use them in different DIYs and such great ideas out there on the internet on, on YouTube with these baskets. The pumpkins that I did find at my local Dollar Tree are these. Now they are very cute. I have never seen these before at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm gonna put one of these down so I can show you close up. This green color is just so pretty. I really wasn't gonna add too much color to my decor, but I saw this green and I, I just had to have it. This was the only colors they had was white and green at my Dollar Tree, and they didn't even have a box full of them. I picked up two of the white and one of the green. I'm probably gonna set them on a coffee table. I'm probably just gonna put it on the mantle with some eucalyptus leaves or something like that, just make it really earthy try to keep the tones down. And that was the end of the fall stuff, guys. Sorry, but I am looking for to see what comes. I'm really excited because I have seen some really pretty things that other women are hauling. And I did pick up this tray. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a three uh, compartment tray. Can be used for a dip, you know, salsa and whatever, chips. You can use it in your craft area. If you're working with beads or something small that you need to keep them contained, this is a great item for that. So I picked up one of these. And I had it sitting on my table like this to hold the pumpkins. So I thought I would just share that with y'all. In the container section, I found these new items. They're, they're calling them vegetable and dip container with lids. So I picked up two of those. I think these are really great for back to school for the kids. You can put their dip or whatever uh, condiment you want, keep it separated from the vegetables or from a sandwich. You can cut it into squares or, or triangles and put it in this side, put their mayonnaise, mustard, something like that on this side. I think that would be very, very nice to use. I am gonna open it. So I can see if the lid is good. Because sometimes the lids are bad and they will not hold the container. So what's the point, right? Okay, so let, oh, and even the, the sauce container has a lid as well. You couldn't really see that. So actually that is a nice detail, really nice. I like when they go that little bit of extra. Oh, nice. Hey guys, this is probably a really good product to pick up. They did not have too many at my Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the toys. I did find some construction play sets. Really cute. Look at that. It has everything. It has the saw, the pliers, this little wood strip here with the screws and the bolts. I thought that was pretty impressive for a dollar. You know, and they're good size. They're not just little tiny throwaway things. So that was pretty good. My godson's gonna love these toys that I got him this time. And then I found the Dr. Kit Medical Kit Play Set. I thought this was pretty nice too. I mean, golly, they're going all out with this. Okay, and then he has a little barbecue, a toy barbecue pit. And he loves to cook on it. So I did find the kitchen play set. Look at that, it has a cast iron skillet, an egg, a spatula, some bacon, and a little knife, a chef knife. I think that's really, really cute. I think he's really gonna like that. I liked it. Okay, and then I found these three construction trucks. I thought these were super nice. I'd never seen these before. Okay, this is like a bulldozer. If they're just calling up construction, two, two years plus. They are, they do have some really nice pieces, the little wheels on the truck that do work. And I don't wanna undo this, but I'm sure that the little 
arm thing here does work as well. So I thought that was pretty nice. You got that one, and then you got your, I'm not sure what you call this, a dirt pusher type of thing there. And then the last one is the dump truck. I think this is my favorite. The wheels do turn, and I'm sure that this thing in the back will flip. Actually, it does move. That is pretty nice. Impressive for $1, really. And by the way, guys, if you are one of the people that always gives my video a thumbs up, I really appreciate you. That really helps my videos a ton, you have no idea. It tells YouTube to help spread it out into the YouTube community. I am just a little, little tiny fish in this community and every little push helps. So thank you so much for doing that. We're gonna go into the stationary aisle. I did finally find these paper made gel pens in the blue and the black. I love these pins. I always, always, always stock up on these when I see them. Unfortunately, there was only one left in the rack, so people are just scooping them up as they find them. In the back to school, the, I did find this little tiny stapler with five, includes 500 staples. That's pretty nice. I do have a big stapler, but right now, y'all know, all my stuff is packed up and I needed one so bad. So I just picked it up there for a dollar and I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I did find the mini writing tablets in this coral color, three and a half inches by five inches. Comes with five little tablets, perfect size for if you still write a grocery list or little notes. I have notes all over the house right now for things to purchase to finish out this remodel. All over my desk, my computer, these come in really, really handy. I did find that one of the new student planners, the 2021-2022. I like to pick these up, guys, because the little blocks for the day are quite large and you can write your notes in there if you do write manually. I know a lot of people use their phones now for notes and stuff, but I'm still old school. I love to see my stuff. I love to write it out myself. So these are gonna come in really handy in a really cute design. And I only found one composition book this time. It says, you are brilliant, has 100 sheets, and of course they are lined. And they had, a really, they had a really good variety of them this time in their school section, but I have so many books right now, so many notebooks that I really didn't need too many, but I did like this one, so I picked this one up. Okay, the bath and body section. I finally broke down and picked up this Pears soap. It is established in 1807, and it says pure and gentle with plant oils. I have heard so much stuff about these soaps that I said, you know what, let me give this a try. Normally I don't buy the bar soaps for the shower. I buy them to clean my makeup brushes because they do a heck of a job. But I've been hearing so much about this, I'm gonna give it a try and let y'all know if I like it. Now the next item was the blow my mind item. I could not believe I saw this. I almost missed it. I was in the very last row in the back of the store and I turned it on one of the little strips. I found this toilet bowl strip, sort of like the poopery. Look at that, guys. And I did already open this one, the yellow one, which is, it is a lemon scent, this lemon one. And I already opened it yesterday. I wanted to check the scent. So let's check it out. It smells so good. Oh yeah, I, this stuff is, it smells, the scent is really strong, really nice. And this is what it looks like. So we have the lemon and the lavender. I know a couple of people that already picked this up and they're saying they love it. So I am definitely gonna go back and pick up some more because $1 compared to the poopery, which starts at five or $7.99, that's a no brainer guys. Okay, a couple of things from the kitchen cleaning. This is called Clean Life Double Action Cleaning Cloth. It is a scrub and clean double action. Fabric cleans on one side and scrubs scratch free on the other side. Use wet or dry 12 by 12. And this is what this looks like. This is an Offertex textile made in Israel. 
interesting it does feel kind of rough on this this does feel has some texture on this rough side on this orange corally color the inside is like a microfiber cloth it seems like a really good product guys i'm going to give it a try i don't think we're going to see this again and it does seem like a good product so i'm going to give it a try fingers crossed that it works i might go get some more i did pick up some dish towels for my new kitchen which is going to be all white i'm going to use the black towels which they always have nothing new so I'm, I started to pick these up to save them to arrange in my kitchen. And then of course I had to get the pot holders, one of each, the mitten and two of the small pot holders. These are not new, but I might add something with my Cricut here on these, I'm not sure yet. Something farmhousey. And then I picked up one of the silver trays. You start seeing these in gold and silver and they start coming out more during the holidays or close to the holidays. You will see these a lot more, which you can actually use for decorations or just to put, you know, your, your condiments on top or uh, some pumpkins or whatever your theme is. You can spray paint these very easily. So this is a good thing to have, not to scratch up your furniture. And in the dishes, guys, I finally found the marble plates. I got the salad plate and the dinner plate to this collection. I got two of these, two of each, and I also found the soup bowl, which is so, so nice, guys. I could not believe the quality. Just make sure to check them, run your fingers across the edges of the plates before buying them because they did have some that had a lot of chips on it, so just be aware of that. I got two sets of each of the marble one, and I picked up the soup bowl and the salad plate. They did not have it at my store, the, the dinner plate in the black, but that's okay because I see them pretty much all over the place. I am going to stop and get the black ones, which is going to be my, you know, pretty much my color scheme. When I finish my remodeling, this is what it's going to be. So I was real happy to find them for $1. I was not going to go and pay three or four dollars a plate. These are really nice quality guys, nice and heavy and they will last. And I do believe they are dishwasher, microwave and dishwasher safe. So I thought these were a steal. Okay, the last category that I have going on for this haul guys, thanks for sticking around this long if you stayed this long into the video. I found some socks, some new socks. Uh, these are by the Juncture brand. They're men's ultra light sizes six to 12. And you do get two pair. You get the one with the, the blue footy and then you do get the solid black in the back. These are thin. These are pretty thin. Not see-through thin, not that thin, but they are thin. Compared to the bum ones, the men's low cut, these are nice and thick. The quality is there for these socks, guys. These are really nice. They seem like they have some good stretch on them. A better quality sock than this one. These would be great to have around the house or if you sleep in socks, that would be a great thing to have. But these are just so much better. Better for the dollar, you get two. This one, you only get one pair for the dollar. The last item that I got, you're not even gonna believe this. Look at all these headbands. Look at these colors. Oh, I love these. Okay, the first one, is this stripe this one is very thin the material is very different from all the rest it does have the elastic pull in the back they are put out by greenbrier so it is a dollar tree product this is pretty nice the colors i just love them you could wear this with a whole lot of different outfits okay and we do have this green uh, color and they do have a button here on the side so when you wear it the buttons end up here and guess what if you're still wearing a mask you can attach the mask to those buttons instead of your ears which gets to be a pain after a while but I really like this cross design right here at the top really nice it is a corduroy fabric real nice and thick so we have this green teal color we have this mauve color, same thing. It has the buttons on the side, the same design on top. We have the black, which is a must for every headband, I think. I always pick up a black. They too have the buttons. And then we have this mint green. Beautiful color, beautiful. Very well made, guys. The elastic is real nice, you know, so it's, it seems like it's gonna last you 
a good long while. And of course, I love to wear these, so I'm gonna pick one out for my outfit tomorrow and have one on tomorrow. Okay, guys, that is gonna conclude the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you did, thumbs up really helps the channel go and visit us on facebook and instagram at virtual kitchen with laura and i will link some recipe videos up for you here on the eye in the sky and they will be some in the description below go take a look there okay guys i will talk to you later bye